Okay. Right, well, we'd better have a bit of a bit of a warm up then. Mm -hmm. So um, actually, I can come in. I, I can bring that in a bit. Now we've got our. Yeah. So I have to have the computer at that end of the room because otherwise the internet switches off. <laughs> if I put it that end, the internet switches off. And um, so we're we're going to do a sort of semi semi tai chi fitness class today. It looks like, which is good. So just stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Feel the ground under the feet, and then sink the hips back and down. So we'll do some loosening, and then we'll do um, some of the um, sort of more. enthusiastic warm-up exercises and then we'll have a look um, at the 18 we'll do the 18 and then we'll also look at the first half of the 24 step but what we'll do is we'll do it slowly and we'll go through it all the way through but slowly the first half all the way through and then we'll look at a bit to do it lots and lots and lots of times until we explode Excellent. Okay, so get nice and tall and really own your space. And we're all breathing. So there'll probably be some people dragging tables around at some point. And, and, and very heavy looking olives and cheese. So sink your shoulders, sink the hips. Relax the palms of the hands. Just own your space and feel yourself like you're just sort of opening your joints, nice and relaxed, and we're all breathing very nice. Okay, and we turn. So remember, next week is Easter, we're shut. <laughs> so nothing's happening, there is nothing on. I might do, I might do a, an hour class in something, I don't know, I might do something to sort of, as a premiere, if, I, if I've got time over the weekend, I'll put something up on YouTube, but, or a little tutorial or something, I'll, I'll do something, but there's the, there's the tutorial page, um, there's a new YouTube channel that's just tutorials, so, um, yeah, Mike's been doing Why Tape Offers Fruit, but I prefer the way I do it, <laughs> so I've been doing it my way. Because that's the way what Carell does it. Um. So feel the ground under the feet. I was sad that the, the, the ballroom people weren't there. They were great fun. What a nice couple. Brilliant they were. So we're just gently breathing in and out. Well, if your Wi-Fi is all right in Thetford, Amy, you can still come to classes while you're on holiday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd like to go to Thetford. Oh, well. I'd like to go to Zurich. Mm. Yeah, the other half's in Zurich. It's all right, isn't it? For some. Oh, never mind. So sink the hips, lengthen through the spine. Breathe in and out, and we're we're nice and relaxed. Relaxed, mate. <laughs> Keep breathing some more. Okay, so. I looked at this one this morning and with Mike. Hi. Oh, are you here for the time? Oh, Come brilliant. On. Come and join in. Fine. We're in the teeny tiny room of smallness today. So you'll just have to breathe in. You've not missed much. Uh, we're just doing this at the moment. <laughs> Thanks very much for coming. This is great. We've got an actual other person here, those of you on Zoom. This is brilliant. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm the only person.
first thing, I was because I came early, mm. and I was there all on my own. And thinking, oh, this is fun. And then, <laughs> and then I very cleverly made sure the door couldn't be opened from the outside, yeah. so mm. Nicola was almost going to go back home. And then, and then you two appeared. And uh, Dawn's on holiday. Dawn in Alaska. She's on holiday. So. And have you done some Tai Chi before? Oh good, we're doing the request hour, so I've had some requests for a few of the different exercises, so okay. you'll just have to join in and see how you get that's on. That's fine, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I, I will say that I've got a very dodgy hip these days. That's okay. So if there's anything that looks like your hip won't like it, <laughs> just don't do it. And we have got a spare chair there if you need to sit down and rest. That's perfectly okay. This, this is isn't boot camp. Thing, actually. It's quite recent, yes. But, mm. Oh wow. So um, yeah, because sometimes we can go in. Uh, what I'm going to do from the autumn. So this class is running till June, and then because everything's gone up, mm. and people tend to dwindle off in the summer, this will be a Zoom class mm -hmm. somewhere, <laughs> but on Zoom, okay. um, five till six thirty, which is even better actually. And it will probably be either from my place in Cambridge or possibly from Christine's house. We all might all go to, um, where does she live again? Longstow. Northstow? Long Longstow. Longstow. Yeah, because I've not been there. We might spend the summer in Longstow at Christine's as a, on Zoom. So you'll get to see a different place. Um, you know, I think she said she wanted us to do it in her garden or something. I was like, whatever, I don't mind. I've done that before. Though I, I used to have a student in Bluntisham, and um, she's had this dog, Perry, that would um, run around. Join in. And join in, yeah. <laughs> join in and bounce and jump into people's arms and things while we're trying to do Tai Chi. It was very good. And uh, there we are. <laughs> Just so I could save myself a bit of hall high. It's okay. Quite all right. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Especially in the summer. Everyone just well, I mean, we, we had. Um, class, isn't it, in I was half considering. Well, if Ely Cathedral mm. can <laughs> do a. If Ely Cathedral can do a bring your pet <laughs> service, I think there should be a bring your pet Tai Chi class. You know? <laughs> Someone sent me this thing yoga with goats, baby oh. goats. <laughs> they thought, oh, look, let's do yoga with all these baby goats, which. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, I really oh, no, can never unsee that. Thanks. Yeah. So um, we're just doing this, so we're, we're sticking our hips back and down, and our knees are in line with the toes. And right, okay, four, three, two, and one, and then we're going to go up with the arms. So if I'd been Mike, he'd have been spending an extra 10 more minutes doing that exercise. He did it forever this morning. <laughs> and uh, so nice, you want to sink the hips and sink the shoulders. And we're then for fun, we're going to turn the palms towards. This is a character building arm exercise that Mike did this morning. Palms down. You'll love it. Palms out. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is very good for your shoulders, he said. And I thought, oh, you, yeah, <laughs> palms up, <laughs> palms out, palms down, and palms the other way. That's it, right. And then back to that one, and then we'll, two, four, three, two, and one, marvellous, just let those, oh, you can feel that's very good for your arms, can't you, very good, yeah, very nice, um, I'll just get my water, and put that over there, so yeah, there is water in the kitchen, and I, I checked, there's hundreds of teaspoons, oh, right. in the teas, they've all come back, it's very, very exciting this place, yeah. so now we're going to do Bounce. So we're just going to do bounce for a bit. So we just bounce. And we're breathing. Oh. And we're just ease yourself in. 
So that there'll be people kind of cluttering around from about half six, possibly earlier. It depends how keen they are. And, um, yeah, well, I got in and this place was full of tables. So. <laughs> But hopefully from the autumn, I'm going to try and get into the big room, yeah, yeah. like all the time. Because sometimes we go in the big room, if no one's using it, we kind of sneak in. Zoom. Yeah, from, from September. September, from the autumn. So Zoom from September? No, Zoom from June. Fine. And then from back, September, okay. mid-September, when I get back from my break, okay. we're hopefully in the big hall. I've just got to sort it out with um, Chris and Mike while they're still running the place. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just that because people tend to go away over the summer and yeah. no, 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 I've got to pay, I've still got to pay the same amount, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's sort of, no, I it, yeah. yeah, but it will be running September to June, this class, but the morning class, that runs all year round, but you can't get there in the morning, okay, and, oh, oh, and also, Monday morning, yeah. What time? There's one at 10 and there's one at 11. Oh, I might want to do one at 10. And there's also oh, yeah. a Wednesday afternoon one, 12.30 to 1.30 at Reach, which is oh, just right. the next village along, Reach so Village Hall. Monday one is? Here. Here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, everything's here. Yeah. Oh, Both yeah. Monday classes are here. The Wednesday class is in Reach. And you don't do any in Ely, do you? I've got one in Ely on the morning, 10 okay. to 11 at the Paradise Sports okay. Centre. Okay. Well, I could still do that. Yeah, that's that's quite a lot. It's just I kind of do this area, yeah. really. I used to do one in Surrey. Okay, and shake. Oh, that's quite a nice one. So I did shake with Eva Kaskuba. She's uh, she likes to do the silly exercises like this. And imagine you're shaking water off. Okay, back to bounce, and then we just do this. So um. Yeah, Ely is 10 o'clock till 11 every Thursday. And uh, yeah, we're hoping to resurrect the tea break in Ely. Yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. Yes, but the pandemic sort of put off. But the pandemic, time. well, the thing yeah. is, I don't really want to resurrect the tea break and then be responsible for another outbreak. No. <laughs> you know, <laughs> an outbreak tea break. So I said, look, let's just wait a bit. Let's wait to see which variation we're on now. <laughs> and then maybe, because we've got all the stuff. We've got tea, we've got loads of tea, loads of coffee, because I bought it all new. Mm. And then the pandemic happened. And what? it's still fine, because it's, it's not been open. No. That's good. That's just a steal. Yeah. yeah. And then all I need to do is get the milk in, mm. sort of cow milk and funny milk, and then we're, we're away. It's yeah. fine. But um, that will probably be the summer sometime, we'll get the tea and then the donations pop because obviously that's going to eventually start costing more money. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, now turn the palms up and feel the arms open. So a lot of this stuff will be brand new. So these are the loosening exercises or my versions of the loosening exercises which I've learnt with various... Uh, maybe three or four different people do do loosening. So Mike does some, Carell does some, Andrew Hackett does some. But I also learned the three main ones I learned from Master Chun, who teaches in Braintree. So. Okay, four, three, two, and one, and then change one in front, one behind. Just show you that. So this becomes a very useful video. Yeah, the, well, how, how did you find the Tai Chi fitness? Was it okay? I only mean, watched for about five minutes because I was okay. a bit busy at work. Um, the beginning, I don't think you talked much. No. <laughs> no, we just got on with it. No, it was so windy and noisy. Oh, there was no right. point me speaking. I, I talked more when I'd done it for the rest was all from my garden. Yeah. Um, so I was in one bit of the garden, yeah. but then the sun got so bright I had to move it around <laughs> to the other bit. Yeah. I've still got the copy of one that was in a, a nice garden. 
Oh, that was my friend's, yeah, yeah. two million pound house garden. Mm. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the audio, that's all right. <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to? Yeah, they, they, they invited me to catch it. And I was like, mm. very nice. <laughs> they go, um, and you can eat whatever's left in the fridge. And I was like, oh. How long do you want me to catch it for? Can you do nine days? I'm yes. Like, yes. <laughs> you know, was the cat friendly and well behaved? It was wonderful. Oh, we we had a great oh. time hanging out. Um, oh. She gets lonely if there's no one in the house. So she, she's, yeah, yeah. And then what she'll do is she'll be there and then sniff and then walk out. So that's fine. But... <laughs> But oh. yeah, I went in all the. I had a. I had a. I went in all the different bathrooms. <laughs> on one, a different bathroom, bathroom in each. Each your favourite. In in each uh, each day. <laughs> I was like, Ooh. <laughs> I slept on the couch one day because it was like, oh, this couch is nice. So I just had a great time. Wonderful. Invited my friend round for tea, as we normally go running, and I went here. Let's go. Run around the garden. Come around, run, run around the garden. So we ran around the garden because we normally go for a run from Anglesey Abbey. We go for a little run, yeah. and then go and, and then um, our running involves running, okay. then then chatting, then <laughs> stopping and go. Oh, look at that interesting bird. Oh, that's a very interesting bird. Right, right, run. Oh, look at that really interesting river. Let's stop for a bit and stare at the river. Yeah. And then we run a bit more, and then we stop and chat, and then we go to the Anglesey Abbey, and then we have tea and cake. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's running. But, uh, so we ran round the garden a few times yeah. and then um, had cake and tea at, at this that posh house. She was, she loved right. it. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, they make sure your name's down each year when they go away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> well, I, I can. I've got an open invite, so if oh. I want to come round and they're in, I'll just come and stay over. So it's quite nice. Because oh. I live in a I live in a shared house. I've got one room, so it's a bit oh, of a. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> It was a bit of a bit of a yeah. culture shock going, yeah. right, I've got this mansion now. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So four, three, two, and one. Oh, posture check. So let's just check. So you want to make sure you can really feel the ground under your feet. So who, who did you learn off originally then? It was Linda Broder. Oh, Linda Broder, nice. that was it. Yeah. Yeah. She was she was amazing. Linda was amazing. It was. I was very wonderful. Lucky. I mean, that was back in yeah. 1986. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, Linda was um, one of the founding me people that started the Tai Chi Union for Great Britain, mm -hmm. and she was a creative writer. She taught poetry and creative yeah, writing at Manchester did. Uni. She yeah. was like a proper like published poet in that. Was she and Canadian? American. American. I think yeah, she was from New American. York. Yeah, she was a New York um, Jewish lady. So we just did have and an amazing Tai Chi because she had Chen Man Ching. She actually learned off off a of Chen Man Ching. So um, she had what's the village hall in the garden. Village hall, yeah, the yeah. village hall Tai Chi. Yeah, I've still got her T-shirt actually, village oh. hall Tai Chi T-shirt. Yeah, she she died maybe. I can't remember. Oh, I was it like to think about, but Twelve I years ago, something like that. that. She was yeah, getting on, but she also got a cancer. And um, oh. but I went to a funeral with her when she was still of a friend of hers. So that was um, and then a few years later, it was um, it was after the what either the first or the second push hands. There was this oh, inter, yeah. uh, this national push hands event that Adrian Murray was running, and um, but her Tai Chi was fantastic. Yeah, it was. I mean, her push hands was amazing. She used to do this thing, women's push hands. Because she was very encouraging to women, yes. for women to push hands, because it used to be mainly the blokes that did it. Mm -hmm. um, but she was very, yeah, she was kind of a pioneer, Linda. Oh. So, yeah. Yes, I forget the form, but I the name. You'll know the name. But I'm yeah, sure she did really the is. Chen Man Ching thirty-seven step, which is actually, mm -hmm. in my opinion, more. It's. It's more like it's got more flow than the twenty-four um, I step. I think that's why I like it. I mean, I don't. Yeah. You know, I have, I've been. I've tried um, Tai Chi a couple of times since. I've yeah. never really been able to get into the form. Oh, yeah. For various different reasons, but mm -hmm. I think that was. I was so lucky with her in the first place. Well, I really took to that form, and I was doing a lot of dance at the time. Yeah. So it really fitted mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. but now I haven't done it for years. I've almost 
decrepit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a really nice form. Um, I've, I've never done that form. I've just joined in when people have done it. And my friend Adrian does that form, and it's very, very mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, Chen Man Ching made the 108 step into 37 step. Mm -hmm. And I think it's actually a, a little bit more artistic than the 24 step that we do. Mm -hmm. But 24 step I've been doing since 95, so... Wow. Where did she teach that for you and you? Um, in Man Man Manchester. Manchester. She was in Manchester, Manchester the village hall. Yeah. yeah, I can't remember the name of the street, but it was very nice. Yeah, there was a nice, nice pub. Well. There, very big house, <laughs> giant, giant house, massive garden, yeah. um, and there was a nice pub nearby as well. <laughs> so they. <laughs> when I can't even remember the name of yours. Didsbury. Didsbury, yeah, Didsbury, yeah. Four, three, two, one. Oh, and. There we go. So you want to feel the ground under your feet and then just let go in the shoulder joint. Let go in your shoulder joints and we're tall through the head and we're breathing. Oh. So notice the breath as it comes in and notice the breath as it comes out. Really let go in that shoulder joint. So it's not just the forward uh, movement, it's the backward. It's the arm goes backwards. So when I was doing this with Master Chun, he got me to focus on when the arm went back for ages and said, can you feel the stretch? So you should feel like an elastic stretch in the arm tissues mm, yeah. eventually. And you, you have the feet firmly planted to the ground, but you draw, gently draw the toes in so that you activate the arches of the foot and then start cultivating this bouncy, like a springy feeling, this sort of nimble, springy feeling in the feet. Now she was a bit of a genius, a movement genius in Tai Chi, Linda, and uh, she did a lot of the adapted Tai Chi as well, so very, very good. Keep breathing, and then we go like this. Wobbling. So I've been learning this exercise probably about over 10 years with Corel. Mm -hmm. And then he said, any questions? And I just couldn't contain myself anymore. What is this move actually called, Corel? And he <laughs> went very quiet for a bit and then went wobbling. <laughs> so I think he just pulled hasn't it out of his brain. It hasn't got a name. He just <laughs> said, do this. A lot of the movements he does are called do this. I think there's a lot. <laughs> do this, do this. So. so with this one, I'll show it from the back. When when I first did this with Corel, he went, do this. And then an hour and a quarter later, we then stopped. And when we stopped, one, I felt very relieved. And two, my legs felt like I've been waiting for a oh. walk up How a mountain. An hour and 15 minutes. And then and my tummy muscles felt really toned and so did my lower back. But I've never done it for that long ever again. I mean, the most I'll do it for is maybe 10 minutes if I've got loads of time and it's the morning and the birds are all singing and I thought, no, I want to look at this. And I periodically come back to it. There we go. Okay, have a little shake out. Very nice. Oof. Let's uh, let's tune into the legs. We'll just do a little. Yeah, you might want to. It's deceptively. Um, it looks like you're not doing nothing a lot in Tai Chi. And then you stop and think. Oh, I'll be doing a lot of this. What on earth is going on? So, so next week there's no class because it's Easter. Yeah. So don't overindulge on the on the eggs. So uh, yeah, on the radio this morning, uh, the radio presenter was interviewing a, a mum who was like, a, she was a teacher or something, and her kids go on a carrot hunt okay. to win their Easter eggs. 
Mm-hmm. Poor kids. And I was like, yeah. carrot hug. <laughs> carrot hug. <laughs> I was like, I was really? like, really? that's, no. Oh, child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Child abuse. I was really like, but they do actually get an Easter egg, but they, they mm. have to collect carrots because she was thinking the rabbit's been dropping the carrots. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's a lovely idea. As long as you yeah. get chocolate at the end of it. Yeah. They get chocolate yeah. at the end of it. But I was like, I actually, I was in the car and I was in the traffic jam and I went, carrots! Yeah. <laughs> well, they're nice, but they're not chocolate. No. <laughs> me and Amy ate the carrot mindfully after I've been on a mindfulness course. So we tried eating them mindfully. But then I thought, and then uh, I did this mindfulness course and we got, we had to eat a grape mindfully. Oh yes, I've done that. Grapes and chocolate, yeah. And then I was like, so when I got home, I went, well, I went to the supermarket, I got myself a nice chocolate brownie yeah. and I ate that mindfully. That was much better. Yeah. yeah. That was so much better. Anyway, let's, uh, legs, we just kicked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we go out to the corners. One, two, three, four. If you want to, those of you that do the fitness class, if you want to have your hands up, two, two, that's fine. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then across. One, two, like in the chorus line. Three, four, five, six. Just hands optional. Seven, <laughs> eight, and two, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Very good. And we'll just do we'll do the hamstring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then just kick the your hand with your ankle. Three, four, five. I've got to count now. Six. Seven and eight, two, two. Yeah, this I got from Barry in London. Five, six is a killer. Seven and eight. So right, that's enough of that. Now when Barry does it, he does t- two lots of ten. I do two lots of eight because that's plenty. Yeah, have a little wiggle. Have a little wiggle. So yeah, Barry McGinley in in London. Uh, he teaches Tai Chi at the London Shaolin Temple. Mm-hmm. So, um, hello. I need you to say, yeah. to disturb you. Yeah. Um, I've got you in the main hall and I've got the iFit screen. Oh, because I thought there was a meeting at half six. Seven. I've got, well, I've got one. Okay. It says there's a provisional booking in the main hall um, five till six. No. We've, and dance, five we've got five thirty till. We've got five till six thirty. Tai Chi. Yeah. Uh, hang on. How many of you are there? There's three. I'm doing, but I'm doing a dance first for an hour. Oh well, why and don't you use the big hall? Because the acoustics, I think, is going to be too loud for you when I put the music on. Um, oh, I see. Oh, oh we don't care. Yeah, yeah, we had some are you okay dancers. That? Yeah, and That's you'll need the room if you're there. if you're dancing around. We Look how it. big this room is. Yeah. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> you better off in the big room. Shut the door. Yeah, we'll shut the door. Okay, maybe if you yeah. have it, maybe if you have it a little quieter than what well, you, you normally Tuesday, would. So normally yeah, yeah, that's fine. Well, welcome. Nice yeah. to see you. Sounds like fun, actually. Yeah, maybe we could all uh, yeah, join in. Spare in the room. No. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, because there's four of you, um, you might as well. And you'll dance if you're dancing. You're going to need more space, yeah. so use that one. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I hadn't realised they were weird. I thought they were just going to go in there. Yeah. And okay, where were we? Um, oh, let's okay. just carry on. Okay. What I'll do, I'll shut this door as well then. Yeah. It might be that we end up doing it to the ribbon. We'll line. do it to yeah. the ribbon. Yeah. Dancing. <laughs> They're dancing around and doing all their stuff. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> right. Well, this is very good, isn't it? Yeah. It's all about adapting to change. I'll just... Um, right, well, we're... Um, if we can all go back to this one, while I make sure they're okay, yeah. I'll just move. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Relax. Don't have a party. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, the, the, do you know about the lights and that? Which one's the... Yeah, I know we had it on the Tuesday for two hours in uh, this room. In the Tuesday. What class are they? Yeah. Um, they didn't want to They do dance. Oh, dance. Hello. 
Hey, Nifa. Bit of fun, isn't it? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Say hello, <laughs> Joy. They're doing weird things in the other room. <laughs> Where do you live now? Where do you live now? In Ely. Ely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's so like Easter and all that. Yeah. So it was quite handy to come here, but I was a bit late. Anyway, brilliant. All right, enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll just shut the door. <laughs> Have fun. They're all right, I they're fine. More the other way around, that we'd be in there and then they'd come through, yeah? <laughs> well, you know, it's just, you just want to. We'll just do that. Okay, let's do Barry's one. That's it, and then we'll... It's not that loud, I don't know, when they stop. They've got drumsticks. Okay, no, I don't think it's Morris dancing, do you? Oh, I don't think that it's Morris dancing. I don't think it's Morris dancing. I couldn't see no bells. So anyway, let's do Barry's one. So we go like this. We go like one, small, bigger, Two. There you go. Two. So this is another one of Barry's. <laughs> he does the quite tough ones right. for because he's quite tough. He's also incredibly flexible. He's like a giant. He's just like he's made out of rubber. Six, <laughs> seven, and eight. Great. Okay. Right. Part two. So this is in a few parts. We might get some of the form done. We might not. <laughs> so it's just because I, I've had some requests. So because there was um, our main people weren't here, I said, "Oh, let's do a request hour." Great. Yeah, we'll do that one in a sec. Yes, that will go really well with it. Okay, so we go like this: one, two. And then, oh. oh, it's like being at a festival. It's a good job oh, I know what to do. Well, well <sighs> come here all that time, and no one in the whole building for years. <laughs> and then, and then last week we got the ballroom done. This week window. we got the. Somebody must have just looked their game on the book. Why are your fists soft? Yes. So you imagine, actually, you imagine we've got a drumstick in each hand. <laughs> One, <laughs> two. So that's Ooh, it. So there's a little turn, the turn. Then a big turn. This is really good for the spine. <laughs> oh, she's really cheerful as well. Oh, sweet. Oh. <laughs> I used to be really cheerful. No, never. <laughs> and then. <laughs> There's these certain, with Tai Chi teachers, there's these certain wry, wryness and dry humour. Okay, brilliant, we got that sussed. Right, next, you go big, little, big, like you're having a big strop. Oh God, it's the Morris people. <laughs> Yeah, she's a Morris dancer. Yeah, a lot of my friends are Morris dancers. I'll have you know. Which which team were you in? Well, I danced with um, Ian and Port Riot. Oh, Ian and Port Riot. Yes, yeah, so I know them well. And, uh, <laughs> I occasionally jump in with the musicians at the oh, Ian right. Folk Festival. So um, and then I joined. Um, Slap my girdle, which is a oh, okay. Yeah, but I haven't been. I haven't been it for a couple of years, actually. Oh, oh, great. Really okay. Next. Sort of COVID. Yeah. Now, um, I'll just. This is the fourth stage. We go one, two, and two bounces. Then you turn. You lift the heel. Square shape. A stretch. One. Two, that's it. So Barry didn't tell us what it was called, so Amy called it Wise Immortal Ghost Thing. <laughs> Which I think is a good name. Watch out for the wire. Really 
No, they asked me would I mind if another group used the hall, I think, oh, a few yeah. weeks ago, and I very foolishly said, of course not, <laughs> you need all the money. And yeah. so that's what happens, you know, yeah. you get all sorts of random people. <laughs> <laughs> but they see you too, so they might come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come yeah. And just well, no, you. if you're friendly to people, yeah. it comes back. You know, we're not <laughs> like the quilters. Oh. <laughs> Oh, blimey. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do. Right. <laughs> yeah. The no tourist. Yeah, so yeah, that's... Um, yeah, if you just give it a kick. That, is that... Oh, I'll, I'll just go. I'm going to give you a bit more slack, and that should, you should be able to kick that, kick that back a bit more. Kick that back sort of thing. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to do... We're going to do a shoulder warm up, then we're going to do Iron Butterfly because I didn't request it, one of the Zoomies did, and then we're going to do Garuda Spreads Its Wings, which you're going to no. probably have to do a higher up version so your hip doesn't complain. See how it goes. Yeah. See how it goes, yeah. So these are two, one, both um, the Iron Butterfly and the Garuda Spreads Its Wings are the ones I do in my Tai Chi fitness class on Zoom on a Friday morning which is more um, fitness and okay. we do stretching and loosening muscle and punching and, and muscle, muscle condition and bone, bone, bone density. It's good for bone density. Uh, very important for women above the age of 35, which I think we all are now. <laughs> and, um, um, so anything that does body weight and, and encourages your bones to grow more bone matter. So that's what the Friday, but it's a bit character building, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not that hard. You could do it. Well, yeah, but you can pace think, yourself. I might be on the side of myself without any working. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Having a drink. Maybe I'd like to try it at some point, but not just. Yeah. Okay. So what we do is, so for Iron Butterfly, you go out into your horse stance, and then you make a fist, and you punch out. And then just mirror me and we'll do 10. So we go one, two. So this is another one I learned from Barry, Barry McGinn. Three, four, five. They say they were just doing an hour, wasn't it? Six. Mm -hmm. What I was it? Seven <laughs> and eight. I'm exhausted just listening. Yeah. Nine and ten. Oh. And push it out. And then your left shoulder, your left shoulder. Your right shoulder, right shoulder, right shoulder, pull, stretch. Left shoulder, that's it. Right shoulder. <laughs> Left shoulder, it's good for your coordination. It certainly is. <laughs> right shoulder. Left shoulder, one more each side. And right shoulder. Fantastic. And then we come um, Wu Chi starts. This one you'll have to modify it. Okay. You come up, you stretch up, turn to your left, turn to your right, back to the middle, over to the left, back to the middle, over to the right, back to the middle, legs straight, back straight. Now for this one, I go all the way down, but you can do what you like. So, thighs parallel to the floor, lift up the heels, and then stretch up. That'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. Yeah, so modify. Yeah. Turn to your left. Turn to your right. Oh, it's like being at the gym. Over to the left in Ely. Over to the right, we have the dulcet tones of the badminton players, some of them are quite bellowy. Back straight, legs straight, then you bend your knees, open the chest, 
and then come up. Good, isn't it? Stretch up last time. Turn to the left, turn to the right, over to the left, over to the right. Legs straight, back straight, and forward, bend the knees, heels up off the floor, open. And up. <laughs> Oh, and then have a little shake out. That's quite a, a thorough, isn't it? That's yeah, really it does. It gets your sides. Yeah. It gets your stretches. It's good for the shoulders. It's good for the back. It's good for merging your legs, and it, you just feel like you've got lots of room. So um, Barry does. Um, he trains with Faye Yip and um, oh, I've forgotten their names. It's the he's he, he's more kind of sporty and martial side of Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. Um, but I also train with the Kaskubas that do more very, very, very tiny movements, doing very little for like five hours and then oh, you feel like, so I, I do lots of different types. Yeah, because then you got, because it's, you know, and then also the meditative side of things from, from Mike, the head, the head honcho. So yeah, update on the t-shirts, those of you that are that interested nice. in the t-shirts. He wants to change the design, okay. so we could be waiting another five years. So I, just, <laughs> I will say, because there are a few people that want a new T-shirt, because yeah. I like a new one. So, but, yeah. so do you want me asking, are, yeah. you, are you and Barry Grey Heron? No, 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 no. Barry's in London. I have a few teachers. It's me and Mike to Brett. Okay. We run the Tai Chi in sort of Cambridge, Cambridgeshire. Okay. But I go train, uh, he trains with the Kaskubas, but I also train with Barry McGinley and... Okay other people every now and then. I do a little bit of training with Mark Peters, who's uh, the head honcho of the Tai Chi Union. And um, I go and find out, yeah. I go and um, find other things to learn and stuff. So, so um, are you and Mike very young? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, we're a very, very small school. But. So let's just do a little bit of uh, shoulder thing. So you go up, back, down, and round. One, two. So they did some studies, right, now we're going the same shoulder, other direction, we go one. They did science on Tai Chi mm. and Zumba. Oh, yeah. And you get just the same amount of oxygen and same improvements, but with a lot less effort. <laughs> Eight, there we go. But you know, it's like, what, basically, whatever exercise you do, it works. Yeah. Whether yes. you want to do jumpy uppy downy stuff or chilled out, not doing anything, other shoulder. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's Kylie. Oh, bless her. Six, seven, eight. And then round the other direction. One, two. Yeah, I always miss Reach Fair because yeah. I'm always at a Tai Chi thing that I've been going to for the last 18 years. So. Okay. Right. Now, do very small versions of those movements we've just done quite big. Do really small. So, one, two. So, it's very boring television. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So smaller, eight. Now, other direction, smaller, same shoulder. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we're going to do a small version of bird folds its wings. So um, he put his um, Mike put his finger on his leg and just went like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, now try a little.
little bit and go one, two, that's it, three. So you're just feeling what's happening in the shoulder joint, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, shake out. Right, next. Um, being asked about Garuda spreads its wings, um, I'll just demonstrate, and what we'll do is we'll just do two each side. So just watch. So you start, start like this, and I'm going to do it that direction, and then I'll, we'll do two in that direction, and then we'll do two in that direction. But just for those of you who are watching on YouTube, uh, later and also for the new people so you can modify you can go all the way down like this or you can be like this and be more upright and that's just fine you can do it upright and it will still do something useful for the body so the important thing is to use your proprioception to sense that your arms are on the same line. There, so you imagine you've got like a pole that you're, you're um, so there's a video of this. Um, I could, did I send it to you on WhatsApp? No. Have we got, no, I didn't get it. are you on WhatsApp? No. Oh, you're not. <laughs> okay, because it was on WhatsApp. I'm not sure how to get it. I could try, I can try and work out a way of emailing it. Yeah. to you so you've got the you've seen the video haven't you amy about barry students doing garuda it's good isn't it because the yeah. thing is they don't all look perfect either which is really reassuring isn't it it's not <laughs> yeah there's a few wibbles and wobbles and you think thank goodness so <laughs> it goes like this so it's, it's 10. so one two we'll join in in a minute three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So the fist shapes are either closed fist, like that, or half fist. So the half fist is when you're doing that. That I think they call that a, a leopard paw. I think a leopard paw. So it's like that. And then sometimes you have your hand above your head like that, like a roof above your head. That's it. And we'll just do that for a bit, just to practice. Three, four, five, six. And then when we do that, you punch out with your other hand. That's it. So you have the, like this. <laughs> yeah, it's good for the brain. Anything that does different things on both sides and each side of the body, That's really hard. very good for your brain. <laughs> very, That's very good for your brain. Because anything that works your cognitive function, anything that works your cognitive function also works your balance. So that's why it's really good to do. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Um, you might... I'm putting my left leg forward, you're probably better off putting your right foot forward because then you can see. I'm going to go back there. Or oh, you can, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, or you yeah, can, you can, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm doing it opposite for the people, for the camera, so then you can see most of my body. So here we go, ready? And begin. One. Two. Three. So you, you probably uh, almost the other way around. That's it. Four. Sink back. Sink back. Back foot. Back foot. That's it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Mirror me. So you wanna you wanna yeah. sort of 
So if I step with my left foot that way, you step with your right foot that way, and then I think you can still see me. I think. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let, let's do that two more times actually, because then we're bound to have got it by the by the end. So here we go. So right foot forward, one. And I'm gonna hold each pose with it. Two. That's it. And sink the shoulders. That's it. Twizzle on the feet. Three. Sink your hips. Sit. Four. Actually, just do something and don't worry if you're, if you're doing it. If you're doing a variation, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Ready? And begin. One. Two. So I learnt this on Zoom. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Six. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You're getting the legs right. Seven. And that's the important bit actually. Eight, nine, and ten. Marvellous. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the other side again, and you're going to rest and watch. <laughs> and then this will become a beautiful video. They'll probably have to, YouTube will probably get rid of the soundtrack because of the music. I didn't <laughs> think of that. I, I use my own music that, um, um, is, yeah, that I make myself, so then I don't get done for copyright. Yeah, because I've been tuning that out, actually. I don't know about you, you're so concentrated. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 same here. Bad. It's just um, the, oh, yeah. the camera. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens, just have a look. So this is called Garuda, spreads its wings, and the Garuda is a big mythological, I think it's Buddhist, the Buddhist bird that's got colours, very colourful, and this ginormous bird. Um, I think it uh, originally in India, and then, um, yeah, so here we go, so we go to one, so like this, so I, I sink my hips, my back's lengthened, my chin's tucked in, and my hands are like that. It really, really builds up the strength, it's very good for knee injuries actually, not making them, but improving them. <laughs> so two, because I, I had some quite stiff knees, and that's that leopard palm. And you're like this, and you want to sink your hips. Three, I twizzle on my feet first, get my feet in the right place, lengthen through the spine, then the hands come out like this. Four, sink back, hand up, punch out. So you're in back stance, back stance. Five, and six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then I better do one in the other direction, otherwise I'm going to be wonky. So, um, yeah, those of you on Zoom, if you want to fancy joining in, that's fine. Those of you not on Zoom, just relax. <laughs> they they've been doing they've been training with me for like two years, so. 
<laughs> and you asked for it. <laughs> so there you go. So here we go. So you want to think posture and, and solid, solid connection to the ground through the feet. So it goes one, two. So I'm really using my legs on this. Three. Keeping your length in. Four. And your sleepy tiger eyes. Five. Eyes like a sleepy tiger. They're relaxed but alert. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Oh, what a relief. Okay, let's go back to up. Oh, water break. <laughs> Water break, everybody. Okay, Otherwise, yeah. I get told off by Simon Hannah, so we better open the door because I think that. Yeah. Air break. Yeah. They're doing brilliant. The sticks is actually a genius idea. Very good cardio. The what drumsticks. Sticks? Yeah. The drumstick. Yeah. Really good cardio. That's very impressive. And then we'll do some nice things <laughs> just to make up for all that toughness. <laughs> so, okay, let's do. It's not flash dance, is it? Yes. Oh no. I don't know what the music box is doing. It's like 1980s. <laughs> I think it's yeah. 80s hell box. <laughs> but anyway, so, I mean, it was fun to watch. In the 80s. Yeah, it was fun to do. <laughs> it was a fun film that. The only thing that was missing in the flash dance film was spaceships or kung fu. That's pretty much the only ones I really like. <laughs> Spaceship film. Or, or like magic and dragons. Things with dragons in it. And... Fair enough. <laughs> And then what you can do is you can go for a little... So, ever calls this flying birds. Oh. I just like... I was thinking... Because I was watching a, a murmuration uh, the other day. Like, they go down and they come up. They make all these beautiful oh. shapes. Open elbows, wrists, fingers open, elbows, wrists, fingers close. And then think about your lengthening spine. So the head's floating, the hips are sinking. I think if they'd been in here and we'd been in there. It would have still been noisy. Yeah, yeah, I think. And they'd have had less room. And they'd have had less room. So I think yeah. we've done our good deed for the day. It'd been a lot longer to shoulders, elbows, wrists, and fingers. Yeah, I mean we'd have had to change it just too much of a 
Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers open. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers closed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you remember what time they said the meeting was going to be? Yeah. 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 It's all happening on a Monday, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, wow. I've <laughs> never known this place to be so exciting on a Monday night. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, chest, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers open. And then just allow yourself to sway forward as you go up, go up, and then sway back into your balance point as you go down. And feel that the whole body is connected. People love 80s music. Yeah, sort of poppy stuff. Well, it does get you, you know, moving. It's the right tempo for that kind of fun <laughs> exercise. So. And they go up to shoulder height. And so you want to relax your arms, just make them very soft, and they're floating up. I'll show you that from the side. So you keep the hands in front and you're doing your sneak tiger eye gaze. So traditionally in Chinese internal arts, they talk about eyes like a sleepy tiger. So you've got this relaxed but alert gaze. So this is another one I did with the Kaskubas. This is the version I learned with Eva. Uh, Corel's got a more subdued version, but I like this version that Eva does because it just feels a lot more, it feels more comprehensive. You know, you're just covering. Okay, we'll do one more. So the, the, the second and third part of this, I, you tend to spend less time on. They go all the way back down. And we'll just make it a little bit, little bit smaller each time and just keep the arms low. So think of like a, um, a, a jellyfish, like, um, those barrel ones. Um, I spent ages, I was up in uh, Scotland and there were these really interesting jellyfish in the water. It's amazing, I was watching them for ages. <laughs> set and then um, yeah I got I got a feeling it was going to be one of those mm. one of those classes today it just <laughs> there must have been something in the air so yeah. we'll, we'll maybe just look at the first third of the full of the 24 yeah. set I don't yeah I don't think it's as good as the Chen Man Ching but <laughs> we just have to put up with it it still works it does all the things so I'll just see what the zoomers have said. Yeah. Apologies for the soundtrack. <laughs> they can probably hear more. Yes. Well, that's and leave the bouncy people alone. You know, they're, that's they. You know, them doing that means I don't have to. Very happy with that. You know, I'm very open <laughs> and inclusive and all that. You know, it's all all fine. So, the 18 set, have you done the 18 set? Oh, probably not, but if I have to put it, imagine I haven't, because it would be 
such a long time ago that. Okay, well, we're doing it now. You'll do it now. Just watch. Actually, I will. I will put. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'm better put some music on. Uh, let's see. It's okay. Just, just, just relax. Just relax. Just relax. Yeah. So those of you, I've, I'm going to move the camera forward, further away from the music, and hopefully. So when when I did this with Mark, he always had a soundtrack on. So I thought I'd better put a soundtrack on. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Okay. Here we go. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing and begin. So this was developed in 1979 by Professor Lin Hao Shen as a kind of simple thing to do. And he, he was a he's a professor of Chinese medicine in in China. So that was raising arms, now we do open the chest. I usually only use the music in the first and health class, but I just thought, no, let's just... Rainbow, very good for the shoulders, so you come up, transfer the weight. So this was the request hour. <laughs> do that every now and then. Steve, one of my students, made it so they're all pretty much for similar kind of a volume. Because mm. I didn't know how to do that because I'm not technical. Step in and show that from the side. 
except the professor does it slightly front of the shoulder. So you transfer the weight, you raise the heel, you turn the palm over, you come back down. So just, just sort of, there we go, soften the palms of the hands. time each side. Come back, just check the posture. Pushing palms, you come around, you come back. Come around, you come back. You come around. I'm, I'm going to add an extra couple of minutes on just because of the disruption <laughs> stuff. So try and keep your feet still if you can, but don't worry if they don't want to keep still today. You know, you might be having up my feet aren't keeping still day, so just go with it. But um, there we are, and then we just slam around like I said. So it's as if someone is passing you an Easter egg. You go, no, it's okay, I've already had five. Thank you very much. How to politely, <laughs> how to politely refuse something. Very nice. Okay, that was so nice, we're going to do the next move. Wave hands like clouds. So we're just going to do this. So you want to just, the movement is directed by the feet and the waist. And the arms, think of the arms as being passive and moving through water. That's wonderful. And we're all breathing.
in some more. That's wonderful, everybody. One more time each side. And come back. Okay, uh, touch the sea, look up at the sky. So this is a slightly different version. Robertson version, this is a bit more simplified, but I quite like it. Three. So you're touching your now gone point, or your Susan Lee point, I call it, or Susan Lee, but <laughs> he said Susan Lee, that's an easy way to remembering it, and then it kind of stuck. <laughs> your Susan Lee point, one more time. That's it, and let's try that the other side. So this is not how the professor does it, <laughs> this is the variation. I like it because it's very simple. <laughs> There's not a lot to it. And one more, that's beautiful. Okay, next. Come back, go into bow and arrow stance, and we're going to do. Um, pushing waves, but the, we'll actually do the professor version. Actually, we'll turn that down a bit. Oh, that's better. It's fine. They're fine. Yeah, just don't worry about. If you if you hear things going on, just get on with it. <laughs> it's fine. I don't care. So. Um, yeah, I used to do a lot of Tai Chi and stuff. I still do festivals and you get used to not zoning things out or pretending things aren't there, just being able to do things even though there's someone warming up doing their sound check with bagpipes and mm. you know, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, okay. Oh, marvellous. Look at that, aren't we good? One more time. So pushing waves to the other side. So we're, we're doing this version with a, with a nice ankle. It gets your ankles going. And then there are other versions and every single one is correct. <laughs> I think, you know. Are you going forward or at the angle? Uh, yes. It kind of depends on... Yeah. yeah, it's one of them. So. Sort of forward, forward, it depends, because I'm, uh, I'm demonstrating it yeah. along the diagonal, so the, for the ease of the camera. And one more time, yeah. I think it's... Mm. Okay, and then pigeon, oh, pigeon spreads its wings, so you go back, and you go forward. I think they're having to lie down after all that activity. <laughs> I mean, I felt like lying down after <laughs> listening to them, actually. <sighs> I was like, that sounds exhausting, I'll lie down. And then one more time. Marvellous. And then try that the other side. So we just, just make sure your feet are just so. We've got this nice free feeling and um, we just go. Yeah, I once taught Tai Chi and they had a five-a-side football match okay. next to my class, which was lovely. <laughs> Complete with swearing. Yeah. Oh, right. Lots of swearing. <laughs> Lots of very blue language. Yeah, not quite. Yeah, and I was being yeah. all very... It works though, we just, <laughs> eventually, we just, no, we're going to relax, whatever's going on, whatever oh, they're I, doing. I didn't realise the swearing was in the Tai Chi class. No, it wasn't right. in the Tai Chi class, it just sounded like it was. <laughs> and then down. Uh, it sounded like it was, because they were bellowing so loudly. I guess they didn't like losing or something. Okay, wild goose flights. So come up. Yeah, this is technically the 24 step class, but we haven't done any 24 step. 
We've been here. Nearly an hour and a half. Oh well. It's like the waiting for Godot version, isn't it? <laughs> and then one more time. Oh, it's all happening. And then punching with a focus gaze. Here we go. So we breathe in. Breathe out. Plus I've spent a large number of years busking, so you kind of get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I was doing most of Saturday with my friend Nick. time inside, that's lovely of Bobby. So the horse starts and then twirl bow. This one's called rotating like a flying wing. Here we go. Turn. Okay, and then when you get to the bottom corner, change direction. Here we go, change direction, there we go. So feel that you're connected through the body, using your feet, turning the waist. the ball while marching. This one's a little tricky, but just, just join in. Here we go. One. Okay, we'll do the unofficial Master Wing Chun end. So hold your ball of light and just breathe in, stretch, breathe out, squash. Breathe in. So Master Wing Chun does a wonderful version of the professor's form, but he was never at, at officially ratified by the professor. He just learnt it and started teaching it. But he's a bit like that person, you know, somebody composes a tune and then someone will play it better. <laughs> so it's just one of those things. Okay. Okay, now turn the ball over and stretch along the diagonal. Then turn the ball over, stretch along the diagonal. Turn, stretch. So you imagine a warm ball of light. And then one more each side, that's beautiful. And then back to squashing them. And then place your hand on your heart centre and just breathe for a bit. Breathe nice warm thoughts. Okay, 
Okay, so just to finish off, so we actually do do some of the 24 step. Have a little shake out. I'm going to move that back a bit. I'm going to move the soundtrack on a bit. Okay, let's go through the uh, the 24 step. So if you get that side of me, um, yeah, we'll, 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 um, I think then we'll, we'll do it, I'll face that way so everyone's facing in the same way. Just let me adjust, sorry, you, you all skew with, that was mean, wasn't it? Dear, I, I hope you don't get seasick on Zoom. Oh dear. Okay, you're just going to be, I don't know, it's gone wonky, but never mind. So we'll just start here. So face that way. And we're going to go through the first third of the form. Hi, Mike. Are we, are we swapped I swapped over because they had big sticks and we were so scared. We said, why don't you have the big room and we'll have the small room. Well, yeah, okay. Um... Well, we're just about to yeah, finish, yeah. so you could always throw them yeah. back in after. We'll, we'll do that. Yeah, so it's I, I just because because there was more of them than yeah. us, yeah. and they had and they said they were going to be dancing around. And I said, well, you know, we're in this teeny tiny well, space. <laughs> yeah, I put okay. one of the tables away, but um, yeah, they might okay. need some help, but it's fine. We can be flexible. Can we're just on the last bit, right? It's definitely one of those days, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, last bit. So, so you get to see the first third of the form. You might want to come in a bit so you're not having to leap over the chair. Right. Um, well, I don't like really doing much. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'll leave. Oh, well, just join in anyway. Well, it's I'll fine. With what I can. Yeah, yeah. We're only doing. We're only doing a little bit. Okay. Because we've got to get out. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And. In and down. That's great. I'll turn around seamlessly. Now we travel along, we turn, push out, gather under, hold the ball, and then step part the wild horses again. Sink back and turn. Step part the wild horses again. Is made. I'll go back a little bit, otherwise I'm going to run out of camera space. Turn. This time side step, rather the sparrow's tail, white crane spreads its wings, and then brush knee and push. Brush knee and push. And then one more time, brush knee and push. This time, spear hand, raise the right heel, cut down, play the peeper, rooster start, step back and repulse the monkey. Step, push, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then once more with feeling. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then I'm afraid we've got to leave right now. So well done, everybody. That was amazing. Make a fist with your right hand, left hand over the top, feet together, and bow. Brilliant. Well done. Fantastic. Great. Right. Before we, we, we 